G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about what to wear during rehearsals for your wedding dance as well as what to wear on your wedding dance night. Um, so I guess you're in closely so it looks like we're actually like buddy buddy, not like <laughs> Yeah. So today to help me out with the video, I've got my best friend Beck. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to be talking about what to wear on your wedding night for, for your first dance and also what to wear for practicing in the lead up to your wedding dance. So first and foremost, what I'm, I'll get you to do is I'll get you to look at what Beck is wearing at the moment. So please note, uh, we'll go from bottom to top. Uh, when wearing dance shoes, the best thing to do for the lady is to wear heels that are of similar height to what you're going to be wearing on your wedding day. Okay, they don't, they don't have to be like the exact shoe, but they definitely need to be the same height and with the heel at the back too, make sure it's the same width also. So don't be going from like a, a wedge to um, a stiletto. The reason why we need to make sure the, the shoe is of similar height or the same height as your wedding day shoes is so that you can get your weight distribution where it needs to be for your dance, okay? So what I mean by that is if you spent your whole entire time dancing and practicing your first dance with heels that are different, your weight distribution is gonna to be totally off. So when it comes time for the night, you're gonna get on the floor and you're gonna realize like, oh man, like this is totally not feeling right. And that's another little stress you just don't need to add to your very stressful day, as you can imagine. So very, very important to get the shoes correct in the lead up to your wedding and to the wedding night. Next, I want to bring your attention to the skirt, okay? Um, with the skirt, it doesn't have to be a skirt, but if you can find a dress as well, a long dress, what we're trying to emulate is the feeling and the restriction of what your wedding dress is gonna look like on the night. So it's very, very important, again, just like with the shoes, you wanna under, sort of understand what sort of range of movement you have. So again, trying to pick a skirt or a full length dress that's gonna represent this as close as possible. So ladies, when it comes to the shirt, you're more than welcome to wear whatever feels comfortable for you. The majority of the focus that we're trying to create and emulate for the wedding night is primarily around the dress that you're gonna be wearing, as well as the shoes you're gonna be wearing. So feel free to go nuts when it comes to the shirt. What I need you guys to do when you're getting ready for your first dance, uh, when you're at practice and on the wedding night, the first thing I need you to do to make sure is to leave the jacket at home, okay? Most guys don't realize that they gotta take the jacket off. You have to take the jacket off. The reason for that being is when you get into dance position, your jacket tends to pucker, and that's not a good look that you want, okay? So first and foremost, remove the jacket, don't need it. If you wanted to wear a waistcoat or a vest, that's completely fine. Just make sure, have a play around with it at home and see if it actually does pucker up as well. If it does, take it off, you don't need it. But if it doesn't, then go hard, you can keep it on, all good. So the first thing the guys need to wear, we'll start from top to bottom this time, we need to make sure the guys are wearing a button up shirt. Again, this is making sure that you're getting a, a feel and a look that's as close as possible to what you're gonna be wearing on the night, okay? Another reason why we want the button up shirts is because in the next video, we're going to talk about dance position, and this has a lot to do with your alignment of your bodies with your dance partners. So keep that in mind, um, but definitely start with the button-up shirt. Second thing of all, you want to wear jeans and chinos, or if you want to wear your, your slacks, you're more than welcome to as well. So again, the reason is just to get this feel for the similar fitting of what you're going to be wearing on the night. And lastly but not least, the shoes. Like the ladies too, you want to make sure that the dance shoes are gonna be the ones that you're practicing in, okay? The guys you can probably get away with wearing your shoes in before the wedding day. I know sometimes the ladies might not wanna wear their wedding, like their actual wedding day shoes uh, beforehand through fear of scuffing it, you know, losing any diamantes off of it, who knows? Um, but for the guys, you know, it's a good opportunity for you to give your other world to break them in and uh, you know where you're at with those. So that's um, really what will we have to say about what to wear today. Um, yeah, it's good to dress up for practice in the lead up to your, into your wedding because it makes you get in the mood for learning dancing, especially ballroom dancing where you're a partnership. It gets, it's something a bit different to what you normally would have and um, yeah, it gets you in the mood for it, it gets your attitude right and uh, you, it, you want to come to dancing, you want to learn to dance. So I thoroughly recommend that. So all the best with your practice, give it a try with the clothes and um, yeah, we'd love to hear 
what your feedback is. If you have any more suggestions on, you know, what would be a bit different to wear on your wedding day, I'd love to hear it because then obviously we can make some, some suggestions to support that. Thanks very much and we'll uh, catch you in the next video. Thank you.